Hey, how's everybody doing? It's Matt with another edition, a Monday edition of Beers and Beards with Matt. A rare Monday edition, well, a rare edition of Beers and Beards in general. Uh, today, I'm doing a beer that is extremely hard to come by down here in Florida, mainly because it's a brewery that only distributes to one state and practically one city. And a lot of you may know uh, this brewery. It's pretty renowned and it's always rated as one of those top breweries in the entire country, if not the entire world. And I am going to be drinking a Three Floyds beer, my very first, uh, well not my first, I've had a few others uh, this weekend. But uh, on eBay, I went I did an auction. It wasn't even an auction, I was buy it now for 10, uh, I guess kind of generic uh, Three Floyds beers. Uh, and this is one of them. This is the Alpha King. Now the Alpha King, is uh and I, I like that you know this punny name alpha king you know it's, it's kind of funny they're, i guess they're, they're pretty much known for that for messing around with people and stuff like that and not taking themselves too seriously which is awesome now like i said this is a, a american pale ale and everything about this beer so far is cool from the top which is like this crazy psychedelic looking top to all the artwork that they put on their on their beer labels, pretty much just because of the fact that they work with comic book artists and these really nice, really awesome, like this cool artists that do really good uh, artwork for them and stuff. So, no further ado, let us get to the drinking of the beer, or at least the pouring of the beer first. Yeah, I was up in uh, Melbourne this past weekend, and I was also uh, lucky enough to visit the Cocoa Beach Brewing Company, which is in Cocoa, Florida. Very, very small operation, but pretty awesome operation, though, too. Like, they do a really good job. Very, very small craft brewery, but they're up and coming in the state of Florida. Mm, nice zesty smell to it. Nice, even nice, very, really nice head on it. Sweet amber color to it. Some bubbles, some effervescence in it, so. Super fresh beer. Mmm. Really refreshing, but bitterness, it kicks, kicks you like right in the mouth on the very, very back end. Sweet up front and then bitter. So it's full beer from top to bottom in terms of this taste and what, what you want out of like an American pale ale. A little chewy, but not too chewy, not too thick. I mean... I can tell right from the, right from here that there's some really kick-ass lacing on this. So this is a super fresh beer, super hoppy beer. But yeah, uh, I I didn't check the ABV on this in particular, so I'm not exactly sure what the uh, alcohol by volume is on this beer. I'm thinking it's somewhere probably in the mid sixes, maybe getting up to about seven. I don't probably not though. I'm thinking about six and a half percent. I'll do some due diligence and check that out. But yeah, but in the uh, in the eBay thing that I that I uh, purchased came with ten beers, five different style or five varieties from Three Floyds. Nothing fancy. It's not like the Dark Lord or it's not not Apocalypse Cow or any of the really high end bomber beers. Uh, I'll probably end up maybe buying those at some point too. But I was just excited excited to get ten beers from. Three Floyds for a pretty decent price on eBay, so it wasn't too much to mark up, of course, but I have to pay the price if I want to try the beer down here, so. And don't really particularly know anybody from Indiana or the Chicago area that I can do trades with. Been trying to do a little work on like looking on Rate Beer and Beer Advocate, but some people just on those sites, they just want too much for what they have. It's like they think they're the only people that have that beer, so. It's a little bit of a pain, it's more of a pain in the ass than just going on eBay and saying, look, here's some money, I'll, I'll keep my good beer and I'll just get this other beer for a decent price, not too expensive. Do too much talking, not enough jerking, of course, but that's fine. Later on tonight, going to see uh, Dark Knight Rises, so I might post some, some little vlog. I saw Chad, he, he posted something on on YouTube about uh, Dark Knight Rises. I didn't really want to watch it because you know, spoilers of course, but I'll be interested to see what he has to say considering the fact he's a big Batman fan to begin with. So, we'll see what happens with that. 
All right. So finally made it to the final gulp. So let's get this beer regretfully over with. Yeah, that beer finished with some awesome lacing. This is probably the best lacing I've seen like in a really long time. Oh, for any beer that I've had. Ends a little interesting, really biscuity, malty at the very end of the beer. But wow, overall, I mean, I was really happy that I finally am getting to try some Three Floyds beers. It's one of those breweries that I still haven't, didn't have a chance to get a hold of any of the beer. And I probably could have had it a lot sooner if I checked on eBay and checked prices and ordered it, but wasn't really, you know, in dire need of it. So, but pretty good. And uh, I did double check, 6.5% on the uh, <coughs> on the ABV. So I was pretty spot on by just kind of guessing what it was. But uh, I think an awesome uh, APA, uh, nice kind of a more of a. It's kind of a combination of an east and west coast like a APA. It's got the citrus and it's got the tropicalness to it. So it's got, uh, or even the pininess to it. So it's a good conglomeration of hops and the usage of it is really well, I think, well done. But obviously, you gotta give this beer a thumbs up. It's pretty damn good uh, APA. Uh, don't really have any other APA in mind that really gave me an impression like this one did. So. And I'm not some guy who's just like, uh, oh my god, Three Floyds, it has to be the best. If it was crap, I would tell you it's crap, you know. Um, I don't really beat around the bush too much, if you know what I mean. But that's about it. Uh, Three Floyds Alpha King, if you're in the area of Munchie, Indiana, or in the Chicago area, I'm sure you've already had it. But if you haven't, anywhere around the world or in the country, try and get this beer, you know, or anything by Three Floyds. I haven't had everything, but... This is a pretty damn good start to uh, hopefully what's a beautiful, beautiful friendship. <laughs> so that's about it. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, comment. Uh, let me know if I'm full of shit or not. And I will see everybody later with probably a review of the Dark Knight Rises. So everybody, take it easy.